you know, you're sitting there in your front room, you're scrolling through your Facebook or you're watching Sky News on the television and the unimaginable happens. You get the call that there is World War 3 just about to start and there are nuclear bombs heading to your position right now. Whether that be in your town, your local vicinity or even just an attack on your country. What can you do? Where do you go? How do you keep you and your family safe? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what I intend to explain, answer and show you the very best thing that you can do in order to have the best possible chance to survive so let's get into today's video so it is a replica of your average house in england so you got your front room so i understand as well a lot of people will be watching this from different countries so houses will vary from country country region to region but the premise is still the same every house has a living room and right now obviously we're in the kitchen uh, every house will have some sort of a back door uh, to go into the back garden if you have one unless you're in a flat or something um then every house if you're in a house we'll have an upstairs again unless you're in a flat or a bungalow or something like that so upstairs we've got this is best of a two-bedroom house as well so you know you got your bathroom uh, that there's the bath and the toilet going into the first of two rooms so this is like a side room and then going into the master bedroom here we go. So everybody should be on the same page, at least with that, where everyone has at least one room. All right. So now you're familiar with the layout. So in England, we have something called the emergency broadcast system, and that is designed to play through every electronic device with a screen automatically if the United Kingdom ever came under nuclear attack. So it looks something like this. This is an emergency broadcast from the BBC. Confirmation of a nuclear attack against this country has been received. The following locations have been identified by radar tracking as primary targets. London, Manchester, Birmingham, Leeds, Liverpool, Portsmouth, Glasgow, Belfast, Crewe, Newcastle, Cardiff, Oxford, Sheffield, Plymouth, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, Derby, Bradford, Coventry, Folkestone, Swansea, Northampton, Bristol, Preston, Ipswich, Barrow in Furness, Leicester, Carlisle, Lancaster, Dover, Perth, Fort William, Faslin, Hull, Southampton, Cambridge, and Newport. All major airports, power stations and military bases across the country have also been identified as primary targets. Civilians are advised to seek immediate shelter in the most secure location in your home. Create an inner refuge if possible by stacking furniture, mattresses or any heavy objects to protect you from the effects of blast and fallout. Stay away from windows and external doors. Turn off all gas appliances, and extinguish any open fires or flames. Gather as much drinking water and food as possible, and store them in your inner refuge. Please stand by for further information. Saw so some very scary stuff, guys. When that happens, you'll have anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes, depending on which country is trying to attack yours, to act. So the first thing you want to do is think of shelter. Where can you go? Now, best place to be is in your own home. There's no point trying to waste valuable time trying to pack your stuff together and get out, maybe jump in your car and go because as you'll see very shortly a car holds no protection against nuclear detonation including fallout and, and things like that within the first two to three minutes you need to decide where you are going to be hunkering down and once you're in that position and you've gotten all your gear in there and we'll talk about that in just a quick second what you need but once you are in that position so you want to make sure it is a little bit more comfortable as well but well protected because you need to stay in there between seven and 14 days the reason for that is because from nuclear fallout, it'll be way too dangerous to go outside due to high levels of radiation. However, each and every single day that goes past, the radiation from that will actually half. Now, it does take between 7 and 14 days for the radiation levels to come down enough for you then to be able to go outside once again. Now, for this demonstration, we are going to be hunkering down underneath the stairs here. However, if you are very fortunate enough to have a bomb shelter, now here's one that I built earlier. 
go and use that instead. So if we come through the back here and we open up this tile right here, we'll then be able to get into our bomb shelter. Now, if you have a bomb shelter, that gives a lot more advantages. Naturally, you're underground. The dirt alone above the bomb shelter, no doubt it's concreted as well, will offer significantly more protection against nuclear fallout, the nuclear initial blast. If you have one of them, use it. Definitely use it, don't stay in the house. But if you don't, the house the next thing you want to do is make a dash towards the kitchen and take as much non-perishables with you to your safe location. Prioritize water over food. Very important. The reason being is you can survive only three days without water or up to an entire month without food. So try and balance it very heavily, more so on liquid rather than actual food but still take some food with you if you can fit it. The next thing you want to do is any room that you are going to be using to hunker down in, you want to make sure that you seal as best you can any windows and doors with anything that you can use. So for example, if you're in the downstairs, use things like sofas, settees, use pieces of cloth, anything you can put around the doors and windows because you want to try and keep as much as that radioactive dust out and you want to try and protect yourself from when the initial explosion happens and flying debris starts coming through your windows so anything that you can do to mitigate that reusing to hunk now one last thing you can do and it's only if you have enough time to do it very simply go upstairs to your bathroom and fill up the entire bath with water and put a thin piece of plastic over the top it may come in handy later on when you're able to come out of your safe space. Oh, looks like the bombs come down early. Best get inside and hunker down. At this point, it's incredibly important not to panic. Remain calm, hug your loved ones and hold on. It's going to get a little bit bumpy. Two weeks later. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! After the two weeks period is up, come outside of your hidey hole and survey the damage. Now, the world that you once knew pretty much probably doesn't exist anymore. So make sure that you can hunker down in the structure that you are currently in or feel free now to move to a safer location. However, it is still highly advisable to keep away from major cities, as if it's ground zero from where nuclear detonation has occurred, the radiation could still be extremely high. If you do choose to bunker down still in your current position, whatever is available around you, build it into some sort of makeshift habitat for you and for your other people, spouses, family to live in going forward. But there we go, guys. That is my guide on how to survive a nuclear bomb and the very best things that you can do. Anyway, everything from me today. As always, my name is Professor Cynical, and I'll catch you all again in the next one.